So today, let's unbox the new secure uh, A110. Didn't check the box, but that's the one. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Sorry. Let's find out what's in the box. Well, clearly there's a soldering iron in the box. Um, the finish is pretty good. It's got a nice weight. So it doesn't feel cheap. That's nice. Uh, it's got a pretty generous length cord. I like that. The tip is interchangeable by unscrewing the heat shield. And that's pretty common and easy to take care of. So they come with these very small stands and I mean it's it's really just enough to keep it up off the table while you're working so you're not um, burning anything but I'm gonna go ahead and just use a, a stand that I, I have anyway for today's purposes anyway okay so it has a an actual power button it's a really tactile button I'm gonna see if we could hear it okay so the temperature reading is saying that it's it's already warm which is true because I was trying to play with it uh, it's the same as the smaller secure irons uh, whereas when you want to start the K1 button I think would be like the A button on the smaller D60B so you press and hold uh, K1 the UE I think it's telling you uh, like it's a tip error or something like that I'll check that out later and maybe I don't have it on there tight enough but anyway as you can see it heats up pretty fast I think it was set to 300 degrees from the factory and I didn't mess with that although I may have accidentally yeah I, I accidentally messed with it with the K1 button there I, I lowered it so it's set to 300 kind of a factory setting I just want to kind of season it a little bit before we try anything so we definitely got a good fast flow there which is pretty indicative of the fact that we've actually hit 300 degrees so I'm going to take a brand new flight controller and we will use a new GPS puck. Um, this is the Pyro F4 Race, also available from pyrodrone.com. I got the soldering irons from pyrodrone.com. Definitely super fast shipping. So uh, it doesn't really matter, but let's use. Uh, UART number six because we have the ground and the 3.3 volt sorry closest to each other uh, and that will definitely be easy that would be uh, easiest to line up on the board real quick so we're hot we're in kind of a ready situation on the iron and now that I put the flux on there I can't 
read the labels anymore. Make sure that we can see here. I mean, I guess it's just soldering, you know, uh, but it is kind of nice to know for a fact that right out of the box, uh, sorry, I can't hold my finger straight. It's nice to know that out of the box, you can just get right to it. I really should have grabbed my little soldering vise here. So green on this one, I'm pretty sure goes to TX. Oh boy, am I sticking my hand right in the way instead of... Oops. Yeah, I should have grabbed my vice, I'm having a hard time holding these little suckers straight. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to get this into focus because I'm using just a phone. But anyway, I mean, that's, that's really it. It's set at 300, I think K2 is the plus. Yeah. So let's see. Let's go up to four hundred. And then you can watch it climb all the way up to four hundred. Now this this soldering iron is capable of five hundred. Um, I mean, that's certainly much larger than you would expect to find on a typical hobbyist item, but it's nice to know it's there. And it would be nice to know because a lot of times you're running, uh, you're, you're buying equipment that has lead-free solder on it and to be able to get up to 420 to break off a lead free soldered motor wire is actually pretty slick and it makes it super easy so you you may end up finding that uh, let's say you buy a binding fly or a ready to fly quad and you want to change out a component you want to change out a motor those are going to be a much higher temperature so um, something like this I accidentally hit 436 but uh, I mean you'll see how much faster and easier uh, and cleaner I don't know if you can see that that this will make that solder joint I mean it's it's that easy So that's it. Uh, this will definitely make your quad building experiences a lot easier, I think. The benefits to this is that it's AC powered. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Put standby, we're done. Uh, the benefit to this is that it's AC powered, so you don't have to fiddle with uh, trying to find you know, a flight pack to plug it in. This would be perfect to get a decent stand plug that in now you have a, a home base for operations 
get the smaller V60A or B, both work equally well, just depends on if you want the actual numerical readout or not. The A has lights to indicate the temperature, the B has a numerical readout. Um, that would be your, your traveling iron, you know, and this could be your home station. So hit the like, subscribe, uh, let me know if you want any more or specific soldering tips, and I will definitely be sure to include them. Thanks. Check out pyrodrone.com for all your secure soldering iron needs.